For the last eight summers I've been spending them in Herefordshire but not walking in the valleys or going for swims or horse riding or walking around the market towns. I've been building a festival and taking it down over three weeks, having an absolutely fantastic time and I put the festival on here because I absolutely think the countryside's beautiful and I'm very proud to invite the 40,000 people here. But every summer I've always looked out that cabin window while we've been building, thinking I want to go out there, I want to have a holiday here. It's my second home, but I feel it's about time I spend some time relaxing here and chilling out and holidaying like I've tried to persuade 40,000 people to do every year. And then from there, I think it's the gentleness that I love so much. There isn't a harsh colour. No, it's the gentleness, the softness of the red brick of the garden walls and the stone of the castle and the lawns and the yew trees. It, it's just so utterly English and yet it was created by an American with his money only 20 years ago. This is the Coningsby Hall, and this actually is early Victorian. What happened when the Arkwrights had this place in the 19th century, they changed almost out of recognition the genuine old medieval Great Hall, and they decided they'd better build themselves a new Great Hall. Well, we moved here in 84 and planted the vineyard in 85, the main part of it. It was a cider orchard before, so we had to take down the remaining trees and um, uh, put in um, drainage and so on because it's quite a clayey sort of soil and then um, uh, we started planting in spring of 85. Crop. Your first crop is usually a small crop and we only had uh, a few hundred bottles so what we didn't drink ourselves or give away to family and friends we uh, sold locally. People come and visit the vineyard and buy a few bottles sort of thing you know. They normally flower in July right. and so if you get a lot of rain, it's last July it rained every day. Well I remember, mm. well you Men, we're both studying the weather, <laughs> it both has a major effect on us. It is chocolate box cover material. Actually going out and exploring Herefordshire today and on the doorstep of the festival has made me really think, I've got to tell people that after the festival don't zoom back to your homes just come here and do a proper big chill sitting in the Morven Hills and looking out into the valley because it's absolutely stunningly breathtaking and uh, the vastness and the greenness of the trees and uh, it's just beautiful. <laughs> 